Hi, I'm Jack from Twinkle and this video is all about Twinkle's range of photo display resources. I'll be looking at the wide range of topics and curriculum areas these photo packs cover, some fun ideas on how to use them in different ways, and your printing options to get these photos looking just the way you need them. These display photos cover every area in the curriculum, from English to maths to science. An incredible range of topic areas are also covered, from the seaside to space, and even some seasonal events like Christmas. There are also lots of photo display packs differentiated for children with varying abilities, like these dual language photos for EAL learners. Covering such a wide range, you can be sure that there is a photo display pack for you and your need, and that these will look excellent on any display or as a visual aid to support your child's learning. So how else can you use these packs to support your child's learning? Let's start with activity one, retelling a story. This Goldilocks and the Three Bears pack contains photos that hint to the next part of the story. Can your child place these events in order? These cards could be used to support your child when retelling the story, either by acting it out or by writing a sentence or two to explain each step of the story. There are also a number of life cycle cards. Can your child put those events in order? Activity 2 is Timelines. Using this old and new transport pack, task your child with putting these modes of transport in order from oldest to newest. Help your child to research after to see if they were right. This activity could be done with other packs, including Toys of the Past. Our third activity looks at placing locations on a map. Set out a blank map of the world and have your child place photos from the Capital Cities pack onto the map. Help your child to research these countries and cities if they get stuck. The beauty of this activity is, once the child is done, you have a ready-made map display. You could also do this activity with these space topic cards. Place the sun on the far left. Can your child place down the planets in the correct order. In our fourth activity, you could also use these photos as a visual starter to a topic. Check out these materials photos. Have a discussion with your child or with a group of children. What do these materials feel like? Are they hot or cold to the touch? Are any of these materials stronger than others? How about stretchier? In our last activity, play a game. Print off a pack in a smaller size, more on that in just a moment, and play a range of games whilst introducing a topic visually or verbally. A nice easy way to ease into learning. It could be as simple as a memory game, where you must match up cards, or even a treasure hunt with clues. To finish, let's take a quick look at your printing options. Download the resource you need, click print, and then immediately take care to notice which pages you're printing. Some Twinkle resources ask you not to print page one. From there, check out how many copies you need, and if you're printing in colour or black and white. You might also want to adjust the size for different activities. For instance, playing a game, you might want smaller photos. And you can do that right here too. Thank you for watching. If these ideas helped, make sure to give this video a like and to subscribe to the Twinkle Keystage 2 channel.